Hello, hello, and welcome to part two of my intro to mining in Star Citizen. Today we're going to be playing with this little bad boy behind me. This is called the Grey Cat Rock, and if you're looking to have a very small investment and a very high profit margin for 175k for this thing here, you can't go wrong because in one trip with it, you can make what you spent on it and then some averaging out to oh i don't know about 230k a run if you get lucky and fill it completely with hadonite i usually manage to get mining anything and everything i see about 100k an hour with this so if you're looking for a quick money thing this is definitely your ticket so with a risk of sounding cheesy and putting my amazing reputation on the line let's rock Before we get into today's video, I just want to thank you guys for stopping by and if you find this video entertaining or informative in any way, don't forget to drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and comment and tell me how I did. Alright, all that being said, let's get into what we really came here for. The best damn burrito in all of Hurston space. Love this place. They've got the best food. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. <sighs> Thanks, Jimmy. All right, so this little guy here is known as the Grey Cat Rock. This is what we all came for. I know you didn't want to see the damn burrito. I just, I really love that burrito. Don't judge me. This is also known as the Remote Ore Collector. It mines the medium-sized nodes of Hadonite, Aphrodite, and Dolavine that you can't normally mine with a hand tool. This thing can make you a lot of money or it can be a huge headache. It all depends on how lucky you get and how stable the server that you're playing on is. So let's get into the rest of the video and I will show you where you can buy it, how you can retrieve it, how to mine with it, and hopefully how to avoid headaches. So you're gonna come here to the New Deal shipyard and you see that prospector behind me? There's a panel right in front of that that you're gonna buy the rock at. Let's walk over there and see exactly how much it is. All right, so there's the prospector, which I will cover in a future video. I just don't own one right now. But this is the panel I was talking about. So you just walk up to this, use your inner thought to use it. And then you're gonna go all the way down here to Grey Cat Industrial and you'll see the Grey Cat Rock. Now, in the beginning of this video, I said it was around 175,000 because I wasn't sure of the exact price since I bought mine, but it's 172,000 and it is well worth it when you consider how much money you can actually make with this thing. All right, so now that I've showed you where you can buy this at, why don't we head on over to Ariel and I will show you exactly where you can pick it up. You are clear to launch. So when you get here to Ariel, you're going to want to spool up your quantum drive and look for HDMS Lathan. That's the uh, the most common mining spot for me anyway. I find a lot of Hadonite over there, but I also find a lot of large nodes of Hadonite in that area. So let's go on down there and first off I will show you how to retrieve your rock after you've purchased it. So when you touch down and you've got your ship landed perfectly on the pad, you're going to want to look for this little blue building over here. There's going to be a console inside there, just like the ship retrieval console, and it's going to let you get your Grey Cat Rock. You 
you just walk up to the console, scroll down, and you'll see your gray cat rock right there. Just hit retrieve, and it will tell you which one of the two pads outside the window in front of you your gray cat will be on, as if I can't see it sitting right there. Now something to note when you call out your gray cat, make sure it's stable, because if it's not, and you hop in it, you just might be taken for the ride of your life. I found that out the hard way the other day. Unfortunately, I did not catch it on video. All right, so to get into this little bad boy, you're just gonna walk up to it, hit open door, and then hit enter driver seat. If you do it the other way, you'll phase through the door and sometimes the door gets broken. Hit R just like you would on any other ship to start your engines and fire it up. And keep in mind that there is a bug with this thing that sometimes the mining arm will pop straight up in the air. So just hit M to turn it on and M again to turn it back off. All right, let's go load this up in the back of the cutty and I'll show you how to find some mineables. So now that we've got it loaded up in the cuddy, I went on around to the daylight side of the planet because it was kind of dark over there. This way we can see what we're doing. You want to hover, oh, I don't know, about a thousand feet above the ground or a thousand, yeah, about a thousand feet above the ground. And then you're going to hit tab so you can bring up your scanner. And then I like to sit still because sometimes while you're moving, you can't pick up certain things for some reason. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's the way the scanner is intended to work, but I sit still for a minute and then I hold my right mouse button, just let it go. And then I'll send out a pulse. It doesn't look like I found anything in this spot. So let me move on somewhere else and I'll see if I can show you guys what to look for. <laughs> Alright, so these size boxes right here is what you're going to be looking for when you're scanning for these mineables. I don't know what's in this box, but we're going to go down here and find out. When you get close enough, you'll see some diamond icons pop up here, and that's not as many rocks as I would like to see. But you're going to get kind of close here, come to a stop where your cursor's sitting on one of those little diamonds, and then you're going to hold your left mouse button to scan the mineral. This is Hadnite, and with it being three Hadnite rocks by a general rule, if it's two or more for me, I usually touch down because I'm prone to getting 30Ks and just not being able to deposit what I have in my rock. So I'm gonna sit down, mine this, and show you how the Gray Cat works in action. So something I forgot to mention before, you can use any ship that you want that's big enough to carry the rock around, or if you don't have a ship that's big enough, you can just uh, you can just leave your ship at one of the spots where you retrieve your rock at, and that'll give you a marker to come back so you can just drive around with the rock. Um, transporting it around with a ship is definitely the better option. And here's one of the bugs with it, like I was saying before. You just hit the M button, turn it off, and turn it on and turn it back on real quick. Okay, no. Hey, hey, hey. I am trying to make a video here. Things never like to cooperate with me. Anyway, like I was saying, if you don't have a ship that can transport this thing around, you can just uh, leave your ship wherever you actually retrieve it from, and then you can go driving around with the rock itself, because the rock also has a scanner on it, but from what I've found, it's a shorter range scanner, so it's it's better that you get a ship to transport this thing around. I know that most everybody has a freelancer right now, and though it's a tight squeeze, the rock does fit in the back of the freelancer. But for right now, I'm using my cutty because, well, that's what I use for pretty much everything. Bounty hunting, mining cargo trading because that's not the biggest ship that I have access to, but it is the most upgraded ship I have access to. 
Anyway, when you get to these Hadonite ores here, you're gonna hit M to turn on your mining laser. And then you're just gonna hover your crosshairs over the rock. It's much like the cave mining that we did in the video before. And then this will scan the rock and you'll see over in this area, it'll give you your instability and all that stuff. And it'll tell you where you should mine at. You're gonna hit your left mouse button to turn your laser on. Use your scroll wheel to turn up the power and turn it down later on. As before, I go all the way up to 100% on my mining laser, and then once it gets into the green area, you'll see me drop it back down to about 25-30% just to keep from overheating the rock. As with the multi-tool, let me turn my engines off so I, that's uh that's something else you should know. If if you're mining with the rock, always go over here and turn your engines off so that you don't go sliding across the ground. It's a bug, I don't know why it happens, it just happens, and turning your engines off just helps to prevent it. Anyway, as with before, once the rock is done, your laser will stop, the rock will explode. And instead of having to get out and pick up all those little tiny pieces, you can just tap your right mouse button one time and it'll put you into collection mode. Just tap your left mouse button and that'll turn on your collection laser or your little tractor beam. And you may have to let it hover over the rocks for a minute before it starts taking, before it starts picking things up, but eventually it will pick things up and there we go. And it's just, it's a much more convenient way to do this than getting out and picking everything up. All right, so I'm going to mine with the rock for about an hour or so. I'm gonna try to find as much Hadonite as I can so I can maximize my profits. And then we will show you at the end of that hour to hour and 15 minutes, however long I decide to do this, exactly how much money you can make in that amount of time. Keep in mind, I do mine pretty much anything and everything that I find. Oh, and something I forgot to mention before, I overheated this rock a little bit, just a little bit, and the, the rocks kind of scattered out a little bit. But if you overheat these rocks a lot, you risk blowing the rock and yourself up. And also the rocks either just being destroyed or the little pieces scattering everywhere, which trust me when I say is an absolute freaking headache. frames so low that it feels like you're moving backwards in time. This, this right here is what happens when you accidentally overcharge a rock. I wasn't able to catch it in time, and now I have to pick all these little bastards up, so yeah.
right, this site's all mined out. Let's move on to the next one. Rocking into the night, rocking into the night. <laughs> nice. After breaking that last rock, I'm at 69% cargo capacity. <laughs> Alright, since I have managed to find a big cluster of them here, when you're mining with the rock, you want to ignore this icon here. Um, I'll cover those in a future video when I have my prospector, but that's what you use for these here. It's just giant boulders that the rock could not mine at all. Alright, this little two rock patch of had night here should pretty much fill up my rock, so after... I break these and get my rock loaded back up into my cuddy. I'm going to go back and sell and we'll see just how much you can make with a pure Hadonite run. Because I've gotten really lucky and found a lot, and I mean a lot, of Hadonite this run. So. I'm happy, it makes me a lot of money, and I'm happy for you guys because this will show you exactly how profitable it can be to own a Grey Cat Rock. We're back here on Lathan, and I have a full rock of Had Knight. Well, it's it, it's at like 98.5%. So let's see exactly how much we're gonna get for that. I'm guessing it'll be in the ballpark of around 220K. Let's see if I'm right. Alright, so when you land at one of these outposts and you're looking for where you need to sell your rocks at, just look for the building with the orange thing on the top of it. That's going to be your trading terminal. Let's get inside and see how much we got. Alright, we get in here, hit sell, select location. As you can see, my gray cat rock is almost completely full and it's all had night. So now when I hit this button, there we go, 218,000 UEC from that one run. That is one nearly full Grey Cat Rock. So the money that you spent on this, you just made that back and then some. Boom, 218 grand just like that. It is a beautiful thing. Oh, and by the way, I'm finally a millionaire, <laughs> thanks to the little thing that I've been using in today's video. Alright, so just as a bit of good practice, something I absolutely recommend doing is whenever you're done with your rock, instead of putting it back on one of those pads and then going in here and storing it, I would recommend you just offload it from whatever ship you're carrying it in, or just leave it sitting somewhere around the outpost, and just go inside this little building here and claim because uh, the two or three times that I've actually tried to store my rock, it's gotten bugged out and I've had to do a character reset on it. So if my face looks a little different in this video, that's why. So I'm just gonna claim this and it doesn't take very long for the claim to go through, but just to make sure it's ready for the next time I go in, I, I just pay the very, very insignificant fee. But I always recommend claiming before you log off, because if you wait to do it, uh, some wonkiness can happen. Like, I logged off in my ship with my rock still in the back once, and when I logged back in, I was just in a free fall all the way down to the ground here on Ariel, and uh, when I died, I wasn't able to respawn anywhere, so I had to log out and log back in again. Anyway, you'll see my gray cat still over there on the pad. I've already offloaded it from my cutlass and ooh, it's sunrise. Maybe we can watch the sunrise together. Yep. Yep, that's what we can do. We can watch the sunrise together to, to see you guys on out. All right, I hope you guys have found this video useful. And if you did, don't forget to drop a like down below throw me a comment to tell me how I'm doing, and subscribe to the channel for more content. In the next video, I'll be going over trading, and at some point I will release a part three to this mining guide. I just have to buy a prospector first, because I am not renting one. It's a waste of money. Don't do it. Anyway, 
let's watch the sunrise together. That's good enough. What is up with my eye? Lost it. Reset. Just, 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 just reset. Let's, uh, let's take it from the top. <laughs> Good thing this isn't live, right? These numb skulls won't even know what I'm talking about. Wait, you're gonna put this in the bloopers? Uh, you're not numb skulls. I, I, I promise. I, I, I promise. You're, you're, you're wonderful, smart, intelligent, loving, wonderful people. Um, I love you.